find square root of i. Now i is you know is square root of negative 1 by definition r is square root of negative 1 so any number can be written as a complex number so square root of i can also be written as a complex number so we'll start like this let i or square root of i is equal to x plus y i okay where x is the real part and y i is the imaginary part okay so i'm going to square both sides so i is x plus y i the whole squared which is equal to x squared plus 2xy i plus y squared i squared y squared i squared my pen is playing up y squared i squared this implies i i squared is negative 1 because if i is square root of negative 1 i squared is negative 1 so this can be written as i is x squared minus y squared plus 2xyi this implies x squared minus y squared plus 2xy is equal to now this i i'm going to write as 0 plus 1i i is same as 1i so you can compare x squared plus y squared with 0 and of course this is 2yi 2yi and you can compare this 2xy with 1 okay therefore I can say this implies x squared minus y squared is 0 and 2xy is equal to 1 so say let us say this is equation result a and say this is result b okay I want to find x and y basically what's the value of x and y so we know x squared minus y squared is uh, 0 and x squared plus 2xy is 1 okay now I'm going to write an identity or a formula x squared plus y squared the whole squared is equal to can I write this as x squared minus y squared the whole squared plus 4x squared y squared if you think about this if you expand this left hand side this is x raised to 4 plus 2x squared y squared plus y raised to 4 this is x raised to 4 minus 2x squared y squared plus y raised to 4 sorry this should be squared here x squared minus y squared the whole squared when you expand is x raised to 4 minus 2x squared y squared plus y raised to 4 and here you got plus 4x squared y squared okay now this implies or this is equal to x squared minus y squared is 1 so I hope you understand from this I can write 4x if you square both sides 4x squared y squared is nothing but 1 so this is nothing but 0 squared plus 1 therefore I can say x squared plus y squared or this implies I can say x squared plus y squared is equal to the whole squared this implies x squared x squared plus y squared the whole squared is equal to 1 which implies therefore x squared plus y squared is 1 and x squared minus y squared is 0 so if you treat this suppose say this is this is a and this is say c this is say sorry this is this is a let us say this is c so this is c and this is a so if you can cancel this two so 2x squared is equal to 1 which implies x squared is equal to 1 half which implies x is plus or minus 1 over root 2 okay so let's write this again x squared plus y squared is equal to 1 and x squared minus y squared is 0 
okay now if you subtract so if you take away you can understand so this and this gets cancelled let me cancel the different color uh, and uh, this will be 2y squared is also 1 which implies y is again plus or minus 1 over square root of 2 so x is 1 over x is plus or minus 1 over root 2 and y is plus or minus 1 over root 2 but 2xy is positive 2xy we say it is 1 that is it's positive so x and y are either both positive or both negative which implies x and y are both positive or negative you can't have a positive x and a negative y okay so this therefore now square root of i is x plus y i therefore i can say square root of i is plus 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2 i 1 over root 2 i which can be written as plus 1 sorry plus if you factor out the plus 1 over root 2 you have 1 plus i or you can also have square root of i is minus 1 over root 2 minus 1 over root 2 i and if you factor out minus 1 over root 2 you'll again have 1 plus i therefore generally uh, i square root of i is plus or minus 1 over root 2 times 1 plus i 